Every now and then, a seemingly new star appears in the sky, which before had hardly been visible even with the biggest telescopes. Such a star that suddenly changes its luminosities by orders of magnitude is called a nova. It is possible to observe novae still many years after their apparent extinction with the Hubble Space Telescope, as for instance the nova that appeared in the constellation of the Swan in 1992. According to our understanding, novae occur in binary systems, consisting of a developed red dwarf star and a burnt out compact star, a so-called white dwarf. It has got the mass of our Sun, but is compressed to the size of our Earth. Because of its enormous gravitational attraction, the white dwarf draws hydrogen-rich material from its companion into a gas disk around the white dwarf. Subsequently, the material falls onto the white dwarf and gradually forms an ocean of hydrogen on top of it. Under the action of the gravitational force on the surface of the white dwarf, the hydrogen ocean gets very dense and hot and hence triggers the nuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium. Since it is not possible to observe the following processes on the white dwarf directly, we must simulate them on a computer. Thus, we consider the white dwarf and the surrounding hydrogen ocean shortly before the nova outburst. Making a cut through the star, one can see that the white dwarf is covered by the surrounding ocean. Since computer simulations are very time-consuming, we only consider the processes within a part of the ocean. To simulate the marked region, one still needs a Cray T3E supercomputer with 512 processors. Here we show the simulated evolution of the flow velocities within the ocean. Bright colors correspond to high velocities. The plane shown represents a vertical slice through the three-dimensional calculation domain. The fusion of hydrogen causes strong turbulence yielding velocities of up to several hundred kilometers per second. In the course of the simulations, the flow spread from the bottom shelves through the entire hydrogen ocean. At the same time, the intensity of the fusion process and the temperatures rise in the ocean. The temperatures can reach 200 million degrees and more. These processes end up in the explosive ejection of the hydrogen ocean and in a rise of the luminosity of the star for several orders of magnitude. This can be observed as a nova.